Hi guys, and welcome back. Um, this is part 13 of our Dreamweaver series, um, build a website from scratch. What I've done here is I've gone ahead and I've added the content in for the next page, the driving range page, um, and I've added the images to it, and I've uploaded it to the server. Um, so as you can see there, that's our page, done and dusted. But the next page that we want to add in um, is the pitch and putt page and I'm going to go through this again with you um, just to kind of reinforce what we did in the previous tutorial but also um, because we're adding in an extra a different video, a video from a different website we're going to be embedding a Vimeo uh, video which is slightly different format to the YouTube so I'm just going to take you through that but um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close out of this page here and we'll go back to our blank document and uh, what we want to do is First of all, we want to check what we named, so we're going to call it pitchandpot.php. So if we copy that, and again, that's from our nav page. Let's go back to our source code and file. This is our blank document. So file and save as. And what we can do is we can just paste in pitchandpot, which is the name of the page. Now it's not really necessary to type in the .php because it'll give it that brief, that suffix anyway. So click on save. Uh, again, we click on no, and there we go. It's created our pitch and pot.php page. So what we need to do is we need to go back in here and we need to click and create the header. Now for this page, as I said already, it's um, it's a pitch and pot page. It's basically about the game. So I'm just going to copy in the header here. Um, as I said, I have the page open on another screen, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy in the paragraphs. And you'll see just how easy this is once you kind of get the hang of it. Um, you'll be flying, creating pages once you kind of have a template set. Um, you'll do it in no time. So I think there's more than two paragraphs. There's one, two, three, four paragraphs in this one. So I want to create two more paragraph tags. So that's Control Shift and P. Click outside the paragraph. Click Enter. Control Shift and P. So as I said, this one has four paragraphs. So So there are four paragraphs. So if we click refresh, our four paragraphs show up along with our header. Um, so what we want to do is we want to add in the images again here. And the two images that I want to use in this um, is the teeing off one and the pot on the second. So there are the two images. So the first one I want to put in in place is the teeing off. So we create a space under our heading one tag and if we go down into our navigation you'll see it here and we're just going to pull it straight back across and again we'll give it its its alt tag and click OK and what we're going to do again as we did the last time we're going to give it a title uh, and we're just going to copy in the teeing off part Control and V and we're going to give this its class of article image and if we click refresh there we go we have our article image in and the next one then we're going to put down in the beginning of our we want it to appear in our third paragraph so what we're going to do is we're going to create a space after our second paragraph and we're going to drag in the other one which was put on second so we pull that in there again all text and that should be capitalized so there we go so I'm just going to copy that again not copying the whole text but I'm going to copy that directly after the comma um, title and paste in and right again up against the G we click on space and we go class and article image. Click on refresh and our image appears. Now the next thing we want to do is I want to create an, um, a header down below here which is another heading 2 so it's controls shift and 2 
sorry, it's Control and Two, not Control Shift and Two. And um, what this heading is going to be, it's going to be uh, the title of the video, which is the basics of pitch and pot. So we paste that in there, and as you can see, the basics of pitch and pot. So the next thing we want to do is we want to paste in the video. Now we want it to be the dimensions, so it'll take up the whole the, the whole screen, which will be the width of the text and everything. And again, because this is contained in our right content div, we want to find out the dimensions of our right content div. And if we select it there, we can see that our width is 630 pixels. Now, where this video is contained is on a site called Vimeo. Um, and what I'll do is I'm going to open it. I'm going to copy the shortcut and we still have our fav icon page open for the previous tutorial so that'll just prove uh, how long ago that was. Uh, so if we click paste and go and it should bring us directly to the Vimeo page uh, that the video is on. So this is the video here. Now in order to share this uh, from Vimeo it's actually, or to embed it, you have to click on the share and what happens is it brings it up um, a little box here and then you have the embed options so what you need to do is you need to expand out the little hide options or the show options thing there and what it does is it opens it up and you can give it its its dimensions and I think we said it was 630 pixels yeah so it's 630 pixels so what we need to do is we need to give it its 630 pixels and it automatically sizes the side itself so um, there are a couple of options there you can have set it to auto play the video to loop it I'm not going to set either of those because if somebody's on a phone they don't want to be wasting their bandwidth by downloading the entire video so the auto play I always set to off um, loop this video no if you watch something once you're generally not going to want to watch it again and if you do want to watch it again click the button um, and we don't want any text links under the video and we don't want any video description underneath it either. So if we do that, um, this preview has been resized to 500 pixels. When you embed the video, video it will be at 630 pixels wide. So that's fine. So we get our text. As you can see, we take in, once we take into the click into the box, it's actually added the extra code to the uh, to the iframe. So if we copy that and then we go back to our Dreamweaver page and directly after the heading uh, if we make a line break, a couple of line breaks and we paste it in on our iframe click refresh, up it comes. Now you can add padding to the top of that if you want um, it's up to yourself if you want to or not but uh, you, what you can also do if you want is you can paste it in, place it into its own div and that's actually what I'm going to do here. So what well, we're going to click on the insert, layout objects and div tag. Now we went through this already, make sure the wrap around selection is selected because we want it to wrap around the piece that we're actually after post pasting in. Um, and I'm going to give this a class of Vimeo which is the name of the website that the video came off so we can distinguish between the two videos uh, the YouTube one and the Vimeo one and just click on new CSS rule and it's given it a class of Vimeo there so if we click on OK and what I want to do is it, the, the div itself will size itself to whatever's in it but what I want to do is I want to give it a bit of padding on top just to give it a little space between the header and the actual video so I'm not padding a margin on top so if we give it a margin of maybe 25 pixels we click on apply uh, and click on OK. Now it's not going to have done anything here because we haven't actually defined that rule even though it's showing up here. If we click cancel that now it'll just delete the rule. So if we just click on OK and down she pops. Gives a little bit of a break between uh, the heading to and the the video. So if we click on file save all and this time what we want to upload is we want to upload the pot on the second, the teeing off, we also want to upload the CSS and the 
pitchandpot.php and you can select all of those by just clicking on the holding down the control uh, button while you're clicking on them um, and if we just upload them click on no and we'll allow the files to go up for some reason my server is a bit slow it can happen from time to time um, and up we go so if we go to the website now and we can close out of that because we don't need it anymore but that's the Vimeo website and that basically shows you how to install or embed a Vimeo video uh, it's pretty straightforward it's if you follow the instructions you can't go too far wrong um, and what we have here now is we're on the driving range page so I'm going to click refresh and we're going to open up the pitch and pot page and as you can see it's added in the paragraphs the photographs and it's also added in the video so we'll click on play and away she goes so that's it for this tutorial um, the next tutorial we're going to be finishing the contact page um, and what we're going to do is we're going to give uh, just a, a standard generic form which can be got from um, this website here it's pretty straightforward um, so uh, we, I'll go into more detail in, in the next one for that and what we're actually going to do as well is we're going to um, embed a Google Maps on the page as well uh, which is essential for any business that's you know you're going to need to know where where the business is based so um, you know the usual drill guys uh, drop us a like there um, and a thumbs up and if you have any comments or questions put them in the description below and uh, in the comment section below and uh, please be sure to subscribe thanks a million guys cheers bye